So, been here in Cancun for a number of days. <clears throat> we got here, you know, Tuesday of this week, and when I say we, it was a number of different bloggers brought here to the um, Royal Holiday uh, properties. And if you're not familiar with Royal Holiday, it's basically a international network of timeshares. So you have hotels that are resorts much like here in Cancun, um, you have some places in Acapulco, you have things in Europe, and they also do these exchanges. And if you hear noise in the background, that's because out in the pool people are having a very good time right now. Um, but you also have hotels that you can also be involved in, in terms of like if you need to come to New York or different things like that. So they sent us out here to kind of get a feel of the hotel. Like it is an all-inclusive, so you have all of these amazing amenities like places to eat and uh, cool, you know, areas to drink. You know, I've spent plenty of time at the bar uh, while I've been here. It's been gorgeous weather. Right now, I'm kind of in the pack-up phase. Um, we're heading home back to New York. As many of you know, in the next couple of weeks, I will actually be in the Dominican designing my line, so super excited. But I just wanted to take some time to kind of talk about the amazing experience of being in Cancun. It's my first time being in Mexico, therefore definitely my first time being in Cancun. Weather be is absolutely amazing. Every day that we've been here, it's supposed to be like crazy thunderstorms and whatever. We haven't had a single one. Much like when I go to other islands, um, the fronts come and they just go. Uh, we had like a little bit of rain the first night that we were here, but it was like 10 minutes. Then we had kind of like a downpour. We were at Xcret, which is a, it's kind of like an eco-themed park. So you can dance with the dolphins. You can go uh, swimming and snorkeling in caves and, and river rafts. And um, for the post that this is going to be on, you'll see tons of stuff of things that I did while I was there. I did spend a lot of time just kind of hanging out at the resort itself and getting to know the amenities, getting to know how cool the staff is here and how accommodating that they are, um, and just enjoying the different types of restaurants they have. They have an Italian restaurant, they have a sushi restaurant, they have one that's focused more so on ceviche, ceviche and then of course they have... Um, the buffet. So if, you're, if you've gone to an all-inclusive, this is basically what you would expect there. It's just done on like a timeshare system. You buy into it and you utilize XYZ amount of points to exchange for week stays, three stays, you know, three nights, two weeks, whatever it is that you need to do. So we definitely want to thank, and I want to thank, uh, the really kind people at, um, Royal Holiday, who invited us to come here. So Enrique <clears throat> is like the big cheese, and Julio spent a lot of time with us. It's kind of like our personal um, director where we wanted to go. We have the great people at m &S, the PR firm, who, you know, Sean and Abby, making our stay comfortable. And, you know, it's a lot to have five people and all of us having different interests, and yet all of us being able to have a really, really good time. So thank you, thank you. It, it was a great trip. Can't wait to post about it. Um, I am a little exhausted. It is hot. We've had 80 degree weather, but it hasn't been like crazy 80 degree weather where you feel like you can't breathe. And I'm going to close out with showing you some nice parting thoughts of how gorgeous it's been here in Cancun. So as you can see, I'm going to start packing down. But once again, the amazing hotel, this being my balcony that I would start every morning at, and you just have like this great space and then you have the beach which you can't can't put a price on that today and if i zoom in you know they have all of these umbrella huts that people lay under and as you can see there's workers actually putting one of the huts together so this is a new hut that you know will be there um they have an amazing spa here the out in the distance this white building that you see over there with the big uh thatched roof that is uh the ceviche place that we went to yesterday and um it, it's just definitely been a really really great trip you can see people enjoying themselves and i'm really glad that you know i had the opportunity to come here and you know you had the, the beach out back if you were to go through the front door you have the laguna and at the end of the day it was an amazing trip um love that our uh mini fridges were stocked with Coronas and also Diet Coke and Coke, but they're not the normal types of Diet Coke and Coke that you'd expect. Apparently here in Mexico, it's sugar cane. So it does definitely taste different and I absolutely loved it. And I think that's it. Thank you everybody who invited us to come. It was fun to hang out with my girl, Ali Lansky of SheKnows.com. Um, 
always fun to hang out. And I can't wait to go to New York. I know that there's a lot of rain going on right now, but you know, the more that you travel, and I've been hitting the road a lot with press trips and tours, um, it's always good to be back home. So New York, I'll see you soon. Kittens, I can't wait to keep talking to you. And um, thank you so much. From Cancun, we'll see you later on the Kitten Lounge.